STUDENTS ACROSS THE METRO START A NEW SCHOOL YEAR WITH THE LATEST IN TECHNOLOGY. CHILDREN IN OTHER PARTS OF THE WORLD DO NOT. ONE OMAHA MAN IS WORKING TO CHANGE THAT. KETV NEWS WATCH 7'S JOE BETH DEVERA SHOWS US HOW. A BIG DAY FOR DARYL ROSE. THREE BRAND NEW ONES STILL IN BOXES. THIS IS GREAT. He just received 13 desktop computers, all donated for students across the world. We were there as he unloaded them yeah. one by one. Okay. As an IT professional, Rose is using his skills, recycling the computers to serve a much greater purpose. I realized that um, I can combine all my passions together into one organization here and help out some of the kids in the Philippines. Rose says Filipino Students First Foundation is the first nonprofit of its kind here in the metro. We are reaching out from Omaha, Nebraska, all the way on the other side of the world to the Philippines. These computers will be shipped to underprivileged students in remote parts of the country. All of these schools right in here is where we're targeting right now. Daryl's wife Lilith grew up in the island, so she knows how important this mission is. Islanders are so far so behind of all these technologies, mm -hmm. like computers. Um, so they're really so excited about this. Rose says he's just doing his part in making the world a better place. Hopefully, within the next month or so, we can start sending them over to the Philippines. In Omaha, Joe Bastavera, KETV News Watch 7. If you are looking to get rid of your computer soon and would like to donate, give the foundation a call. The information is on KETV.com. Just click on this story.